Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Natalie. I create all kinds of home and lifestyle type videos here on my channel. And today we are doing a big project. We're tackling a big project, which is my pantry. Now, I'm not sure if you can see behind me, but this is my pantry back here. It is a corner pantry. Um, so we're a little bit limited by space and like layout, but it is a mess. Like it is, <laughs> It is so bad right now. Um, I organized it not too long ago, but I mostly organized it with like containers that I already had, like kind of mismatched organizational bins, X, Y, and Z. And I was just looking at it the other day and I was like, this has, this needs to be rearranged, not only for, you know, cleanliness and like organization and aesthetic, but because one, I needed to go through it and just pull out everything that was obviously expired um and i also needed to kind of just see what all i have in my pantry what all i'm working with i think that's good to do every once in a while just in case something's gotten like buried at the back of your pantry it's really nice to pull everything out and kind of go through everything look at expiration dates and all that um maybe decide what you want to use up first so i really want to do that also i want to make sure that our food is in containers where it is airtight and that things aren't gonna go stale. Cause sometimes, you know, you have the chips and you roll them and you do the clip and all that kind of thing. One, it looks super messy. And two, the chips go stale sometimes. So I was trying to think about ways that we could kind of make everything a little bit more airtight and improve the aesthetic of it as well. So but without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into me organizing my pantry. So this is what we are working with. It's kind of a hot mess, okay? So you can see there's definitely things that I'm like organizational bins and things that I have. It's just not all very organized at the moment. We do have a good size pantry, like it's in like a corner pantry, but it's got a good bit of size in it. We do have our trash can recycling and dog food down here. Honestly, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with that. It's just probably gonna be ugly, but it's fine. Um, but the rest of it could definitely definitely use some work. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually pull everything out and like make sure things are still good. They're not expired. And then I'm going to kind of try to group things together so that they make sense and then decide like which bins and things are going to go in which places. But I definitely need this all cleared out before we do any of that. So this should get interesting. I'm going to do a little haul of the things I picked up for organization. So first, I got some things at the Dollar Tree. I got three of these bins. I don't know that I'm gonna need three, but look how big they are. I figured they'd be good even if I don't use them in my kitchen for like the linen closet or something like that. So I got three of those, they were like a dollar each. And then I got these um, like removable hooks, which I just realized, I don't know if you can hide the little green thing because it looks like in the picture it's just hanging out but either way I needed some hooks for the back of my pantry door to put my aprons on and I wanted just some command hooks but these were cheaper than command hooks they only hold three pounds but I don't think you know my apron doesn't weigh that much so um, I thought that those would be cute and I liked the wood tone I was either going to do that or white but I think the white ones didn't hold as much so I don't know what I can do about that little thing though maybe I can Honestly, you won't even see it because my apron will be hanging. So anyways, I got that and then those three bins. And then I also picked up three of these. They are like a smaller little kind of square plastic bin. Um, I don't know. They were, again, those were a dollar each. And I kind of thought they looked good like next to each other. These were obviously a lot more like cheap looking compared to some of the other stuff. But I figured these would be good because they're not see-through. So if I want to hide like some ugly stuff, I could put them in here. So we'll see. I'm keeping all my receipts and I'll just return what I don't need. Um, but then I also got some things at Home Goods and Ross. So at Ross, I got this. Well, this is actually. So at TJ Maxx, I got two of these sets of two, these bins. They are about the same size as those gray ones, but they're clear. And I think they were two for like, let's see, $13. So not a great deal, but pretty good for like the clear acrylic like that. So I got two of those. So I got four bins for like $24, which again, it's not a great deal, but 
um, honestly, with how much some of these things can go for, it's pretty good. And then I got this Lazy Susan at Ross for $5. It's pretty big. You can see like size wise. And I also got three of these little containers at Ross. These were $4.50 each and they're just like a nice big plastic container with like a taupe colored lid. They had white, I think too, but I kind of like the taupe. Thought it wouldn't get dirty as easily. Um, these are just like a really light plastic. There's nothing fancy about them, but I know these containers can go for a lot more. And I thought honestly with it being $4.50, that was pretty good. So I got three of those and I wanted these for all my different types of flour because I have like multiple kinds. I have like gluten-free, I have cake flour, all-purpose, self-rising. So yeah, I thought maybe these would be good for that because they're kind of, they're, they'd are they be good for cereal too, but we're not big like cereal people. Actually, we totally should be because I love cereal. But anyways, so I picked up those as well at Ross. Okay, so this is what I ordered from Amazon. This just came in and it is like 24 pieces, I think. It's like four of each size. No, it's six of each size, sorry. And there are four different sizes. So it's this one, this bigger one, and then these two. They are not like super heavy duty and they're plastic. And then they just have these little like clip on lids. But you know what I like about them is they're all the same. This set was, I think like, I don't know, 30 bucks or something or 40 bucks for 24 pieces. It was definitely the best deal. And I think I'm going to try to maybe have everything fit into these. It's kind of a big commitment because I'm like, did I really need this many pieces? But now that I have them, I'm kind of like, I might as well use them. I did order these separate, but these are stickers to label the, um, the things. And they have, this is only one page. They have a ton of pages with like everything you can imagine on it. So I'm thinking that most things that I have here will be able to go on some of these. I just know I probably didn't need to get as big of a set as I did, but I mean, what are you gonna do? So I think I'm just gonna use them. This is quite 
possibly the most satisfying thing I have ever done. So I wish I could show you kind of like a better full view, but unfortunately because just of my layout, this is the best that I can do. Um, but I will kind of go through each row and show you what's up. So the top isn't the most organized. These are Josh's like protein powders and things that are, they're kind of bulky and tall. So they fit best up top and honestly, like it's fine. I'm not going to pour out his protein powder and put it in a pretty container. Um, this wood bowl is super pretty. I use it for serving like salads and stuff, but, and I could store it away with like my other, um, serveware, but it's kind of nice to have up there because then if I want to like hide something, I can just kind of put it in the bowl and you never see it. And then my water drink dispenser for like events and then my carriers for cakes and cookies. I actually use the cookie one quite a bit. So I just thought I'd put them in here. Honestly, those could be concealed if I wanted to. I have enough space in other drawers that those could easily be concealed if I decide that this is too overwhelming. Um, and then in that one, I have my lunch boxes, and then this one's trash bags and this one's paper towels. So those are the bins from Dollar Tree. And they're really big and I think that they do pretty well. I mean, obviously you can see stuff on the top, but like at least it's organized. You should have seen it before. Well, you did see it before, but <laughs> wow. Anyways, this is my second row. This, These are all those that came in that Amazon kit, except for this one is one of those ones from um, the, from, Mm, Ross. I don't know why that took me so long to come up with the name. Because a typical flower bag, it, it's too big for one of these. Cake flower comes in a box, so it's different. But um, And I have had this big old flower container that I just kept because I want to be able to put like a full bag in there and not just have like a little bit left over. So I just kept that one and then used the big one. But the other two I didn't use, so I'm just going to return and get my $10 back or whatever. But um, as you can see, I have kind of a variety of different baking good items. Um, I tried to pick the best container for them. Over here, just my Crisco and then some nuts that I, I didn't label because I might switch that out. Like I might, you know, have something just besides pecans. Did y'all say pecan, pecan? I don't know. Um, in there next time. But then, you know, just other items. I love the labels. I think they're so pretty and it feels so organized. makes me so happy. Um, and then these two little baskets were from the Target Dollar Spot a little while ago. Probably it's been several months. And in them, I just have all of my baking products that don't, like, that aren't going to be poured out. Like corn syrup and yeast and vanilla extract. Like, that's all in there. Um, on the next shelf, I did my, like, everyday kind of food items. So I have my spice rack. This is from... I think it was from Target. We got it from our wedding registry. I love it. The only thing is it does get kind of annoying because if I run out, like if I run out of this, um, if I buy a new jar, it might not fit perfectly in this container. So then I'll sometimes have like a paprika here and in here. Anyways, but it's fine. It's totally fine. I'm not going to like pour out all my spices yet. I know that a lot of people do that. Like they get the bigger jars because honestly, like the shakers are kind of annoying. You can't get like a teaspoon in there as easily um that's a project for a different day but i have my little spices and then all the rest of the spices are in here so everything else fits in here it's not the most organized but i did try to like place them so that when you picked it up you could see at least like whatever's on the edge so I, that's why another reason why i picked the clear container for those um even though they kind of look a hot mess but they're they're you know contained and then in this one i have like sauces and things um, sauces, syrups, that kind of thing, back stock of condiments. And then these two are canned goods and jarred goods. Um, pretty straightforward. And then I have my peanut butter because it doesn't fit anywhere. Well, and actually there's plenty of places it could go, but I feel like it fits in the like everyday category. Um, I guess it could go in baking. Anyways, I eat peanut butter all the time. So that's that. I have my oats and my crackers. This I didn't label because I'm, you know, we might not always have crackers, but we do right now. So that's what's in there. And then a couple of other, you know, kind of staple items that I always keep on hand, um, that are like more cooking or like breakfast rather than so much just like baking. So that's that. And then on this bottom row, I have those Dollar Tree bins and I have like my oil and vinegars in there. I labeled it this and that. Isn't that cute? Um, and then this, I labeled treats and this one I labeled snacks just Honestly, I just wanted to use the labels because I thought they were cute, but I felt like that was pretty vague. So I just have like our sweet treats and then our regular treats 
snacky things in there. I wanted to do like the opaque containers because snacks are kind of ugly. One thing I did do also though is I used some of those containers to like put our snacks in that were in bags. Um, just because like I said, I have the containers and I like that those are airtight. So I feel like they're going to keep them fresher than a bag would anyways. So that's that. And then I have a basically empty, um, lazy Susan that I don't know what's going to go on that. I might just leave this kind of area that's empty. I do have this little, um, extra bag of self-rising flour. Cause one time I bought two, I don't understand, but I can't remember why I did that, but I kind of like that this is all open because then when I buy things like that are just going to be used for dinner that night or the next night, like potatoes or something, potatoes don't like hang out in my pantry for very long. Like I buy them, I use them. So I kind of like that there's a blank space for that stuff to go. Um, and honestly, I probably could have returned that turntable, but I didn't, I didn't leave the stuff on it because I needed to see how it worked. Anyways, it's too late now. It's too late. It's over. Um, but that's kind of just like a blank area. And then in this container kind of on the bottom, I've had, I don't know, this has got to be Target Dollar Spot from years ago. I have all of Josh's like, um, grilling spices and then our bags and stuff. So that's not pretty, I know, but I don't have one of those fancy containers yet that stores them nicely. Maybe I will get that, but between all the money I spent on these containers, um, I, you know, got to pick and choose my friends. So that, that is it. I am so pleased with it. So that is it y'all. That is my little pantry organization video. I hope you enjoyed it. I love it. Every time I open the pantry, I'm not embarrassed anymore. I'm somebody who I really like to keep my home clean, but I tend to get messy behind closed doors. So like my closet, coat closet, pantry, things like that tend to be a little bit crazier. Even though on the outside, I try to keep it pretty tidy. Um, so now when I open my pantry, I'm not like mortified. Um, it looks super nice and believe it or not, it's pretty functional and pretty practical, which is kind of the main thing for me. I understand the like uniform container thing doesn't work for everybody. Um, but I think the main thing that I did was make sure that my containers were big enough to fit an entire bag of whatever it is like sugar or flour or whatever, which is why most of my containers are not all the way full because a whole bag would fit in the, that size container. Um, and I also think it was really important that I left room for like back stocks, so, like extra things can kind of fit in that bottom corner um, where it's a little bit out of eyesight. So your prettier things are on the, you know, in your, right in front of you. And then the maybe less uniform things would be on the bottom. So I think it's pretty practical um, and I will keep y'all updated on how it works for us functionally. But yeah, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much if you spent the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. Um, if you are new here, you can expect new videos from me every Tuesday. And then I'm trying to add in Fridays as well. Mostly home decor content and like home content. I might add in some other lifestyle type things here and there. But most of all, I'm just super grateful that you are here. And let me know in the comments what you would like to see from me next. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see y'all very soon in my next one. Thanks for watching.